Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be testing another 3M. This is a 3M 9010N95 respirator. Let's go over the listing before we try these on. These are the 3M N95 particulate respirator, 9010 in a box of 50. They currently have a 4.2 out of 5 rating with 1,413 reviews. The price of these are $49.99, making them a dollar each, and they are being sold by Amazon. So let's go ahead and open the box up and see how they look. They do come individually wrapped, so let's go ahead and open these up. This is how the respirator looks. It does contain all the N95 requirements, which are the manufacturer along with the model number, NIOSH and N95 stamp with the TC approval number and the lot number. Initial thoughts of these just by touching them. They do feel very thin and papery. They don't have the same quality as other 3M respirators that we've tried before. This is how the nose wire looks. I personally don't like the nose wire being outside of the respirator. I just feel like these straps at any given time that I'm putting them on or taking the respirator off, it's gonna snap and it's going to hurt. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try it on and see how it fits on my face. We're gonna put this one here. And okay, that one's a tight one. So I do definitely feel like I am getting a very good seal. It has a very strong smell. It has a very plastic latex smell, but it also feels like it has a like cover up. It smells like cinnamon as well. One thing I also wanted to mention when it comes to the rubber headbands is that they do tend to dig into your face. So as you guys can see, it is digging on the this side of the cheek and this side of the cheek and the breathability of these isn't too bad i don't feel like i am suffocating but it's also not the most breathable respirator that i've tried on i don't think that i would personally wear this on a daily basis but with that being said let's go ahead and see how they test on our tsi machine we're going to be testing both the filtration and the pressure drop This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run the tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the respirator is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The TSI is now conducting its test. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask or respirator is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 98.89% with a pressure drop of 9.69 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 98.94% and a pressure drop of 9.68 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration was 98.08% and had a pressure drop of 9.83 millimeters of water. All of these samples that we tested passed the filtration test and they also had pretty good numbers when it came to the pressure drop. Overall, the high construction quality for 3M just wasn't there on these respirators. We have tested other 3M respirators that have a far better quality than these. Like I said, these definitely do feel very thin and papery. When it comes to the fit of these, I did have a good seal, but it was also very snug. And like I showed you guys, the rubber headband 
was also digging into the side of my face. And when it comes to comfort, I definitely don't feel like I would be able to wear these on a daily basis or on a eight hour shift. It does have a very strong smell. It had a plastic latex with a cover up smell. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, as well as commenting down below any face mask that you would like for us to test out next. Don't forget to check our description box. We will have a lot of important information, including our website, which is acumet.com and our master testing data sheet. And I'll see you guys in our next video.